PR and more. Uh, Laura here again with another Dollar Tree haul. I found a just a whole bunch of items that I don't know if, that are new or not. I if you all are new to my channel, welcome and uh, thank you for being here. Thank you to my old subscribers and a lot of you know, but those of you of you that are new, my son took ill in November. We almost lost him. He uh, he had to learn how to you know swallow uh, you know little slowly his his uh, limbs started to move. He's still not walking. His his legs aren't moving, but we're waiting for we're on a, a waiting list for physical therapy if you can believe it. So anyway, um, a lot of my time goes to taking care of him right now. That's why I haven't been doing too many crafting videos because they take too much of my time and too much of editing. And Dollar Tree hauls are easy. You know, there's not much editing to, editing to do. And yeah, so anyway, I know it's a long story, but I, my, the sitter came to watch my son yesterday and I just took my time at the Dollar Tree and I found a lot of things that I had not seen before. Now, you may have, I have not, so they're new to me. <laughs> so, and I'm just going to start with the uh kitchenware that i found this is by royal oh let me go get my glasses oh no they're here they were just buried <laughs> um royal norfolk cutlery now and it's distributed by greenbrier so maybe it's just new packaging i i just wanted to try it this is a full-size knife this is 7.5 inch a chef knife. So yeah, maybe it is a new packaging. I don't remember seeing a full size knife at the Dollar Tree, but again, like I said, I was just taking my time and just, yeah. They also have the by Royal Norfolk Cultry kitchen shears, and that's what those look like. I've always seen the Betty Crocker ones, or um, I think there is a ki kitchen essentials or something. So anyway, this is a eight and a half inch shears. Love that. I love the nutcracker there or the, you know, tea. I use that part for my crab legs. <laughs> so I found that. Uh, and then a four pack pair of knives, a six three quarter inch stainless steel blades. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I never, I had not seen this brand, like I said, or it's repackaged. Uh, Four pack steak knife set, uh, stainless steel blades. Again, uh, it doesn't say the size on these, but you know, steak knives. So I did find that as well. So yeah, that was that was fun. I was like, have these these always been here or what? You know what what in the world? <laughs> okay, uh, there's one more. A four inch paring knife. Stainless steel blades, heavier weight, larger blade. So compared to this pair, there's a you know the two different sizes there. So this one, a four inch, six and three quarter inch. Okay. Okay, now hold on. This is a four inch, and this is a six and. No way. All right, tell me I'm crazy or am I reading that right? Okay, wait. <sighs> okay, six and three quarter inch, 17 centimeters. This is a four inch, 10 and two centimeters. Okay, all right. Anyway, they have these at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. My husband will. My husband will probably cl clue me in. <laughs> All right, moving on. I also found the GRX Dotted Palm uh, Professional Series gloves for men, and I got my husband one and I got my son one. So these are those. And then I did notice that they had uh, by the same brand. They had the gloves without the dots, but they didn't have the size large. So I just got these two for them for Father's Day. And then I found more of the pegboard hooks by Jot. So I did buy more. Like I said, when I see them, I'm going to just buy them little by little. 
and hopefully get enough one day to do an organization wall. So this is the six piece hook set. And then I got two of the actual uh, square shape, the pegboard itself. So I got two more of those. And then I couldn't remember if I had one of these or not. This is the hanging organizer tray. So I picked up one of these just, just to be safe. So I'm gonna set those down there. So yeah, they had uh, restocked the pegboard items. So that was awesome. All right, moving on. Oh, sticking with kitchen, I guess. I'll go back to kitchen. I saw these on uh, Paula's MJ's place. Uh, if you have not checked her out, go check her out. She's a lovely, lovely person. I have become very good friends with her and yeah, she's trying to get to her 500 subscribers. So go check her out, subscribe to her channel and support her. She does Dollar Tree hauls too, Timu hauls, and she even shares uh, not the actual making of crafts, but she shows her DIYs. So that's a lot of fun and she's really good at it. <laughs> so anyway, I found, I saw these on her channel and I said, oh, I have got to get, find those spoons. This is the Level It Measuring Spoons by Prep Solutions, and it's a four piece. So that's what that looks like there. Now I have these, I have, they're not this brand, but I have the leveling measuring cups and my grandsons love it when they, they bake with Mima. And so yeah, I was so happy to find this. I just got it to show you all. Um, it is the Level It Measuring Cups Prep by Prep Solutions. So I'll probably give this to my daughter, um, unless she has one, has some and, or not, I'll give it to my daughter-in-law. We'll see what they got. So there's that. And then I found the Peppermint Sage Dish Soap, 16 fluid ounce, and I thought that was interesting. Manufactured for Rejoice International Corporation. So I found that and I thought it was just so chic, you know, just black with and says dishes. I just had to get that. And I've seen these on a lot of people's channels as well, but I found them at my store. They also had the all-purpose peppermint sage all-purpose cleaner uh, with plant-derived ingredients, uh, cut through grease and grime with a pleasant peppermint scent. So yeah, got that. Again, it's got that nice nice packaging I think <laughs> okay moving on oh I picked up another live love laugh uh sign I really like mine and I just I don't know I just I saw it and I thought you know what I'm just gonna get another one because I just love that that uh saying live love laugh yeah I I have that saying in my hallway I've had it there since we moved in this house 23 years ago <laughs> so all right, and then I saw these bags and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna grab these just for Christmas. They're the three pack bags and just hang on to them. They were in the graduation section. And I thought, why not? They're green, they'll go with Christmas. So I was just stocking up. And then I did find more of the premium photo paper by Jot. So I'm stocking up on this too. There was a while there you could not find this, or at least at my store, could not find it. And of course, when you need it, that's when you can't find it. So now I have four packages to stock up uh, for pictures. I found this really, really cute book for my grandsons when they come over. I cannot wait to share this book with them. 50 things you really need to know. Yucky stuff. Rotting food, slime, mold, frog spawn. Yeah, I just had to. I'm one of those grandmas <laughs> or a Mima to them. And yeah. Uh, it just looks fun. Uh, hogfish can fill your whole backpack with slime. Ew. Cows burp and fart enough daily to fill 35 balloons. <laughs> They're going to get a kick out of it. So I did pick this up uh, to share with them when they come over. So yeah. And this is by Nicola Baxter. So better look there. I thought that's going to that's gonna be so much fun. All right, I'm moving on. Let's see. I found these I didn't haven't found in a while either, or I just wasn't paying attention. That's probably uh, more like it because I've just been in a hurry, you know, the last five months or so. But they had the 600 count elastic uh, rubber bands, and we go through these quite a bit. My husband's a watch, and it's always his watches. 
he always breaks one of the little loops for his uh, bands. So he just uses these and they break and you know. So anyway, now I'm real stocked up for him on those. In fact, I'm just gonna give him a bag because when he asks me for them, I gotta go dig and find it and yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. So yeah, he, he can put his bag wherever he needs it. <laughs> All right. I also found the Household Ant Solution and it's new and it's Powerhouse. Oh wait, my glasses. It is power, yeah, powerhouse. I read it right. Uh, powered by essential oils. So yeah, I just thought, you know what? Why not? Let's give it a try. It's only a five fluid ounce for a dollar twenty-five, and it is distributed by Delta Brands. So we're gonna give that a try. I also found the new all-purpose pest spray use against cockroaches, ants, and rodents. So yeah, again, I mean, I need to read up on it and make sure it's safe for our dogs. And we do have a turtle, so you know, we just need to uh, make sure that it's okay. But I found it, so I grabbed it, got that. And then, let's see, where do I wanna move to? Let's see, I picked up a three pack of Palm Olive Classic Scent Soap. These are just the small bars. Um, but, you know, I just thought I'd keep them on hand just for emergencies. And they're 3.2 ounce bars. So they did have that at my store. And then I got another one of these because I really, really like this soap. It's the Raw Shea Butter Soap. And it's by Personal Care. I love this soap. I, it lathers well. It, it's not drying out my skin. Um, I'm really enjoying this soap, so I did pick up another bar. And they only had two, and I took, I wanted to take both, but I said, no, just don't be greedy. Just let somebody else try it. <laughs> so hopefully they restock that, because, yeah, I really like it. All right. Well, let me, let's see. I'm just, I had, everything's just piled on my desk here. Uh, by Spongibles, I found the pre-tan exfoliator. I saw this on Sadie's channel. Sweet Sadie's Jay's TV, and she showed it in a walkthrough, I believe. And I thought, okay, and it's it's got coconut oil and olive oil in it. And it's a body wash. Sorry about funny. that. Uh, my husband just called. Okay. Anyway, I found the Spongible Pre Tan Exfoliator, like I said, and I'm just gonna give this a try. It looked interesting, and yeah. Uh, let's see who distributes this. Uh, Spongibles.com. Pant they got the pantin on it and it's yeah paraben free and never tested on animals i like that so yeah we'll be giving that a try i found the gunk gunk getter i can't remember whose channel i saw this on uh but anyway it's a gunk getter and great for cleaning hard to reach places cars keyboards clippers and much more it's just like a really thick slime. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this in our cars because I can never get inside the vents and I hate that. So anyway, I did pick up two, one for my husband. I thought I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so I did pick up two of those to try. And who's this by? Um, do not eat, okay. Uh, the cleaning gel. It's not telling me. Oh, here it is, way at the bottom. It's by Peer Basics LLC in Tampa, Florida. So, yeah. So, can't miss that pretty, pretty blue packaging. So, if you're looking for it. Yeah. And this is in the automotive section, at least at my store. All right. And then, oh gosh, you guys. Uh, this is an awesome buy. By Baxter Boy, it's the big old hand bone. It's that big. I did buy three. I gave one to my our, our big dog yesterday. She loved it. She chewed on it. Oh my goodness. Only the best for man's best friend, it says. And it says, the only thing we love, just as much as our pups, is treating them well. We are passionate about creating premium quality treats that are naturally healthy for our canine friends. We work with fully traceable products to make sure your pup's treats are consistently the best of the best. I love it. 
I did get three. I have two here. I went back today and got three more because I was afraid they're going to run out because they didn't have a whole lot. Um, so yeah, and oh gosh, anyway, if you have big doggies, I think they might love this ham bone. And I was so excited today to see that they had more left and they had, you know, they had more. They had, I didn't take them all. I didn't take them all. I wasn't being greedy. They still had a lot left. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, sometimes I do get greedy, <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's not go there. <laughs> all right. For my dad, I picked up the Texas Pete hot sauce. He likes hot sauce sauce on his food so I did pick this uh, up for him it's a six fluid ounce and let's see I don't see a expiration date but I'm sure there is one uh, two of 25 so he's got a while to eat that so that's good because I just got him some from Walmart all right I guess I'll just stick with food over here I did find by Duchess the pecan pie and you know what I wasn't going to buy this because I thought, you know, you can get the pecan pies at Walmart for, I think it's 50 or 60 cents, might be 75 now, but yeah, so they have them there for $1.25, but you know, I want to give the Duchess brand a try, so I did pick one up, I got that, and then nothing new, these are Tasty Cakes Pecan Swirls, I must have been hungry when I went because I've, I've always passed these by, but I picked them up and they're a six pack and they're good until 2020. Oh, that just can't be. That just can't be. Uh, best if used by. Oh, June 5th. Okay, I can't really read that, but it, yeah, anyway pick that up and let's see where am I moving next uh, I found by Delta home the hand soap coastal cedar I just wanted to see I wanted to get it just I don't know it just smells good it's 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 different and the packaging is different so I went ahead and got it I don't need any hand soap but I got it anyway <laughs> and then I am teaching myself how to uh, uh, write in calligraphy now I did find the calligraphy, the calligraphy pins at the Dollar Tree and I got it all ready. I got my books out and everything. Well, they're the Crayola books and you use markers for that. Had I known that, I would have been uh, teaching myself a long time ago. So I'm learning to use markers, uh, calligraphy. So anyway, maybe that's just a gateway to uh, investing in a calligraphy book so I can really learn um, how to do that. All right, let me get that phone. Back. I'm popular today. What can I say? <laughs> All right. So yeah, I did uh, buy a metallic brush marker because one of the books is learning how to use a metallic marker um, calligraphy. So I did pick this up and I think I do have uh, some that are metallic, but I just got this green one. And then before I move on to all of the magnets that you saw in my thumbnail, one of my subscribers, Annette, Thank you, Annette. She was, I was telling everyone that I would, I usually buy um, anything with a dowel, uh, just to use the dowel part of it. And she was like, why don't you get the um, toilet plungers? They've got a big old dowel on there. And she's right, look at this long old dowel. And I can probably use this somehow in a craft. And so thank you for that. And so I did, I went and got one. And so yeah, now I've got a bigger dowel to you know craft with so there's that thanks again Annette all right and then by Jot I picked up some more markers because I'm gonna be going through a lot of markers uh calligraphy is hard you you uh, I just I don't have great handwriting so that's not helping <laughs> so anyway these are the double the double tipped markers there is a fine tip I believe and then a thicker one yeah, fine line, and then there's a brush tip. So you get uh, four, you, you get green, blue, purple, and pink, and then you get two tips, two different tips. So I could get that. And then, oh, I got a purple marker, Mystic Gems. Got that one to play with. And, okay, and then by Scrub Buddies, I, they've had these before, but I've been cleaning, so I, I, I just got one. 
it's just you just you put the soap in here and you scrub you i'm sure you've all seen these before so i did get one of those all right and a couple more items before i get to the magnets they had this and i thought does it does it taste like peach because it has a peach on there but i don't know i didn't i wasn't able to read it in the store fun silicone topper so it's got it they're talking about the little peach there and it says a uh, bright color long lasting uh, bold and opaque shimmer finish professional grade formula sweet peach shimmer lip gloss so i don't know if it tastes let's try it i mean i know the color looks peach but oh it does it does well i don't know if i'm tasting peach or i'm smelling it but either way i like it so uh, i don't know what it looks like on but yeah i like it they also had the strawberry but i don't wear red they had the strawberry nail color too in red i wish they would have had the peach i would have i would have got that one but yeah i like it okay yeah i'm so glad that i got that i love uh peach peach smelling things i i really do and this is a, a 0.1 fluid ounce so yeah i like it all right glad i got that i was worried a little worried <laughs> all right and then i just picked up this cherry um in the summer section uh cherry necklace because i thought i could craft with that as well could do maybe a spring or some kind of craft with that so i did get that and i've seen them there for a lot a lot of times but like I said, I was just taking my time that day. All right, let's get to the magnet, shall we? Oh my goodness. I hit the the magnet jackpot. I sure did. So I found the bee magnet. So there's a bee happy in the round shape. There's the welcome to our beehive. Uh, home is where your honey is. <laughs> That's really cute in the square shape and then be kind in the square shape oh aren't those adorable so yeah i, I thought i got these for friend mail um and i might keep one for myself i'm not sure and then they had these magnets mom's kitchen gather and let's eat so i thought that was really cute and then takeout is my favorite recipe. I am going to, I know exactly who I'm giving this to. We tease her all the time. So yeah, I'm giving that to her. And then bless this kitchen. I just thought that was really pretty. They had some other ones. I didn't get those. They also had uh, pet uh, uh, themed magnets. I didn't get any of those. I wish I could take pictures for you guys, but uh, my store doesn't allow it. So anyway, yeah, check out the magnets if you're look if you like magnets. Um, they've got a lot of new ones out right now. So okay, well that was a lot, and thank you so much for watching and spending a part of your day with me today. I really really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button if um, if you would, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I would love to have you and. Uh, leave me a comment. Sometimes it takes me a while to get to my comments, but I try to answer everyone's comments. So, all right. And Annette, thanks again for the heads up on the, I don't know why I'd never thought of it. You know, I, I can be slow. <laughs> all right. I'll talk to everyone in my next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.